Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So last night, Brian McKnight decided to go live. Brian McKnight finally decided to respond to the so-called false narratives about him being a deadbeat father who's shading his black children and doting over his mixed kids. So what Brian McKnight did first is that he took to Instagram and he reposted some old images that were shared by his wife, Lelaney Mendoza. He posted about eight pictures or so, but this is the caption that he wrote. Not sure how these posts that have been sitting here this whole time were left out of the false narrative that is trending abandonment there's always more to every story stay tuned so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the pictures that he posted on instagram earlier last night so go ahead and check this out All right, so you guys just saw those pictures and you guys saw where he highlighted the comments from Brian McKnight 23 and Brian McKnight Jr. And you can see where they were all conversing. You can also see pictures of his daughter and his stepdaughter and the wife all hanging out together. So, you know, people were still dragging him. People still felt the way. People were still even comments to him saying things like, well, you already have a Brian McKnight Jr. Why would you name your new baby Brian McKnight? So he was still being questioned on Instagram. So at that point, he decided to drop a video. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Brian McKnight here. There's been a lot of discussion online lately about how I talk about my family on social media. Typically, I prefer not to give attention to the internet trolls, but now my family is being harassed online and accosted in public apparently because some people can't handle seeing my happily ever after. Coming after me is one thing, but the moment you come after my wife and our children, it's another story, because even more important to me than defending my name is defending and protecting them. I want to address some of these recent discussions. There is a very simple reason why I post about some of my children on social media and not others. The children that I do not currently have relationships with, I don't post about them. Instead, I post about the children with whom I do have relationships, with whom I am proud of. There is a very simple reason why I post about some of my children on social media and not others. The children that I do not currently have relationships with, I don't post about them. Instead, I post about the children with whom I do have relationships, with whom I am proud of, and about whom I want to share my pride in their accomplishments. I don't live in the past. I live in the present and the future. I am so proud of the man I am today, the husband I am to my wife, Leilani, and the father I am to our children. I'm so proud of our love, our family, our life. So I will, without apology, Continue to shout about it as loud as I can. If you can't help or handle seeing happiness and love, then I respectfully ask you, why are you even on my page? Maybe you should ask yourself that too. In 2020, my biological daughter, Brianna, sued me for defamation and breach of contract. I posted a page from the lawsuit here and the file number down below so you can look this up for yourself. 
And you will see that she did not ask for an apology or even ask that I remove the alleged false statement from the internet. All she asked for and all she wanted was money. The case was dismissed before there was any decision whether my statement about her was defamatory. We settled the case earlier this year and I agreed to pay Brianna some money, but here's the interesting part. She sued me for defamation and breach of a million dollar life insurance policy. And I agreed to pay her $318,000 with no admission of any wrongdoing whatsoever. So ever. You heard that right. She dismissed a million dollar case in exchange for payment of $318,000 with no admission that I did anything wrong and no requirement that I retract my statement or remove it from the internet. If someone said that I did something I didn't do and I want a case proving that I didn't, I demand a public apology. I demand an acknowledgement of wrongdoing and I demand a retraction of statements. The face value of that life insurance policy was $300,000 with $18,000 worth of interest. I did not defame her. I made no false statements. I made up no stories. You can do what you will with that information in deciding who you think won the case. I know that some people on the internet would rather not know the truth about what happened, but for those of you with an open mind who are more interested in facts than rumors, I hope this helps explain what really happened. Finally, I want to address the abandonment issue for the last time. Those kids and I have had a long history of conflicts, mutual estrangements, and resolutions. But there was a time when we were truly a successfully blended family. Julia, Jack, BJ, Nico, and Brianna. Our home was filled with love and acceptance, so much so that the kids were all calling each other siblings, contrary to the picture that's been painted online. Christmases, birthdays, Thanksgivings, Friendsgivings, all spent together, even standing up for me as my best man in our wedding, along with their brother Jack, which I posted a pic of here. Shortly thereafter, the same conflict over money arose again. We parted ways, and the next thing I knew, there were two posts from Brian and Brianna in 2019 telling the world a completely different narrative I never abandoned anyone. Our estrangement was mutual, but those posts made any roads towards reconciliation and acknowledging them a dead issue. And I changed my will the next day. I've spent the last 30 plus years building a recognized, respectable name. And ironically, there are still people out there who are trying to smear my name while still carrying it, hoping to use it for their own benefit. I make absolutely no apologies for naming my infant son, Brian. I want him and the world to know that he is the one who is my true legacy. So I'll be over here, continuing to love and protect my wife and our children as we continue to love our life. All right, so you guys just got a chance to watch Brian McKnight's video. And I will say this, I felt like you know, Brian definitely still has a chip on his shoulder. He does not like the fact that the internet is seeing him in a less than positive light. I felt like in this whole entire post, he was still very passive aggressive towards his children. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, okay, fine. You may not like the mothers. You may have issues, you know, with the fact that the little girl's mom was an alleged gold digger. But either way, these are still your children. And I feel like at this point, he's looking for a reason to cut ties. With that being said, I'll still say this. Do I think that his kids were acting as, you know, completely perfect children the whole time? No. Could they have possibly taken advantage of their father and, you know, his resources and his money? Yes. You know, that's what kids do. Even still to just completely decide that you're not going to acknowledge your other children is just weirdo energy to me. You know, it's not like he's struggling for money. OK, maybe they're spoiled. Maybe, you know, they have their hand out too much. Then you cut them off financially. You don't owe them any type of money, but you do owe them fatherhood and you being in their lives and trying to guide them as a parent. You don't just wash your hands of your children, especially over something like money. Money comes and goes. And, you know, he's feeling like his children and social media are ruining his legacy. But personally, I think that this whole rant that he went on 
is what's really going to affect his legacy because now we're seeing a whole nother side of Brian McKnight that we really didn't know existed. We heard rumors. We had speculation. When he sat there and justified naming another son after himself and then said that his new child is the true legacy and he held that until like the very end of his rant, you can tell that he just loves to throw digs at the other children. That was literally the cherry on top for Brian McKnight. He was definitely waiting to drop that bomb. Why would you call your newborn baby the true legacy? And the thing that's really disturbing watching this is he's upset at his older children. He's cut them off. He's appointing this new son, you know, his legacy. But my thing is, so if this new son, this new Brian, the you know, we start back at one Brian, if 10, 15 years from now, he makes a similar mistake, he becomes ungrateful and spoiled and, you know, does something to piss you off. Are you then going to go for a Brian McKnight part three? And then if that one pisses you off, will we get a Brian McKnight part four? Like, that's not what you do. That's not what it is to be a parent. You don't just sit there and cut off your kids and say, well, I'm just going to try again and just make another kid and name it after me and hope for the best. And he's the true legacy. And then he sat there and basically bragged about taking his kids out of the will. We didn't need to know that. So I don't know. He just gave me really passive aggressive, narcissistic vibes. The fact that he's mentioning stuff that nobody should be really privy to who you decide to name as your successor, who you decide to name in your will is your business. But the fact that he's letting not only his children, but the world know that these children will not get any bit of my money once I'm gone says a lot. So I feel like there's a lot of bitterness and angriness there. And it's really sad because at the end of the day, this is a blended family. And this baby is a mixture of both you know, Brian, his new wife, this baby's going to be related to his, um, to Brian's stepchildren and his biological children. And this poor baby will be caught in the middle of the siblings. And that's not fair. You should be trying to bring your kids together, all of your children together and not pick and choose which ones you want to help, which ones you deem worthy, especially being that the other children that you seem to just dote over, are not even biologically yours. Should he treat these children well? Yes, because you know when you take on somebody else's kids, it's a package deal. But that doesn't mean that you literally abandon and you dismiss your other biological children. So I can't co-sign what Brian McKnight is doing. It just comes off very, very narcissistic. It comes off like he's gaslighting these kids and he's definitely trying to, you know, just make them out to be the bad guy. He doesn't want to take any personal responsibility. He's more concerned with protecting his legacy and making his wife and his stepchildren look good. And he doesn't care what happens to his biological children. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you all. How do you guys feel about this whole Brian McKnight situation? Do you feel like, you know what, if he doesn't want to deal with his children, he, he has a right not to. You know, these kids are basically grown, so who cares? Or do you feel like Brian McKnight is dead wrong and the fact that he's bringing up his new child is his true legacy. He's talking about, you know, the other kids are not in the will. Do you feel like he took it too far? So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Last but not least, make sure you hit the video with a like. Also, don't forget to make sure that you're still subscribed to this channel in the event YouTube has unsubscribed you. Once again, thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.